Okay, guys, here we are. We're starting Tattooed Saracens and Mr. Yo with, my goodness, I don't find the, 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 the button here with Burgundians. And this is Graveyard. We are in game number one, round four, day four. And this is uh, like Arabia, guys. Like Arabia. We're going to take the civilizations, Burgundians and Saracens. Well, Tattooed will have to play aggressive because if Burgundians get into that stage of the game, Burgundians is domination for sure. Let's see what it can be, but... I don't know what you prefer, guys, but I really do prefer Burgundians, man. Do you prefer Burgundians or not? Well, it depends a lot how you play. This in the map pool will be good. Well, this map is more like like Arabia, I would say. But uh, many relics, a lot of resources is, I would say, more open. I mean, yeah. Obviously, since you have a lot of resources, it's more wallable. Yeah, you need to go aggro, aggressive, exactly. But he has nice wood. It's fine. Pushing all the all the resources and Tato is about to go up. That's also true. Doing the loom boat flyers. He's gonna have the resources to go up. I think he will. And I swear Mr. Yo is super focused because he knows that he has to win today. After losing yesterday, being in a 2-2, it's gonna be difficult. Tatot is 2-1 also, right? So, super important match for both. Oh boy. Yeah, both are going up almost the same time. Three second difference because of the idle TC. Uh, well, he's doing the barrack close to the town center. All right, I'm thinking what Mr. Yo is going to do, and I'm not sure yet. Yeah, he's trying to lame the ships, and he's gonna take one. Not anymore. Such an annoying situation. He's doing the stable, and uh, he needs to wall everything. He's doing the horse collar right now, and he's doing the stable too. Stable and gold, so you know that he's gonna make the market and gonna try the... Yeah, but this is not bad for Burgundians. Definitely not. Burgundian's echo is pretty sick. Let's see if he's gonna make now the... Pozo and everything. He need to wall all the map. He will wall lit little by little. And as soon as he's doing the market, he's gonna sell the stone and gold. <clears throat> okay. This is my protein shake. Sorry, guys. You know, I have to still be hydrated and strong. And you can see, he sell the stone, he bought it food. 400 food, actually. He's walling all the map. And waiting for the pliers. What happened? Okay. What? He's going for the masterpiece. Second stable and bloodlines. 
But, Mr. Yo, it's walling all the map. And if you see now, the strategy coming, Tatot is gonna be in a big problem. I like the idea, but so complicated to make it work now. He's walling everything. And if you see the bloodlines, he's gonna notice and he's gonna know that it's gonna be a big deal. And it's gonna be a real problem for Tatot. He's spending a lot. Oh, wow. He's walling all the map. Okay. Well. Mr. Yo. I don't see a little. And? And? Oh, well, this is a tree, so he can't go. Fully wall both, guys. Fully wall both. Don't think there is any hole. Tato is still using the market. But now Burgundians is in the dream S scenario. Fully wall. Bozo. He might do heavy plow. Why well, he's not doing heavy plow? I don't know. Those scouts are with bloodlines. He did double stable. Obviously he didn't do any damage. He can see the bloodlines or not. He probably didn't notice that he has bloodlines. But his spears will help. Oh, Bloodline scalps a lot. And he's taking some bad battles, Mr. Yo. Now he probably noticed that he has bloodlines. Okay. How old is Mr. Yo? I think he's 30 years old. If I'm not wrong. Team farmers and no 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 nothing happens but man it's crazy how this civilization saracens he's doing a double stable he did a scout he did the bloodlines it's true that he didn't didn't make so many and he's gonna go up to castle it faster what the hell yeah man insane the market man Insane the market, seriously. He's doing the blast bit now. He didn't make a heavy blow. Nah, it's, it's broken, man. The market is broken, seriously. The market is damn broken. He's gonna mine a stone now. Obviously, it's not gonna be too far for going up. But now, with this timing, <clears throat> might be able to break in. All right? If he's doing few archers, pfft. yeah, because Mr. Yo is gonna have no army at all. He's doing gold mining, arbitrate, horse collar now. Doing the market. Mr. Yo is going up now. He's on the way to Castle Age 2. He has five villains more. Well, not five because he got Will Barrow, his opponent. Three on the stone, now four. We know how strong Burgundians are. And it's still, it's just a minute, so it's not a real problem for Mr. Yo. Need to explore a lot and need to see where the goal is. Where the relics are. One relic inside. Another relic close. There's another two relics. Yeah. Well. Full arena, guys. They play full arena. And now. What is Tatot. Plan here. Because. Mr. Yo is fully wall. And doing all the upgrades, gold mine and upgrade and everything. The scores say that Tato is really ahead now, but it's gonna change soon. Double monastery, guys. Whoa. Double monastery to go for the relics and to convert the custeliers. Yeah, sounds good to me. <coughs> Oh, 
Almost 500 the stone. I don't know if he's gonna make this is earlier. Before he's doing the the castle. Yeah, maybe. Why not? We will see. Nah. He's gonna do the castle right away. He's doing a monastery and now what? Mr. Yo is gonna make the castle in that area. He's doing some cab archer. Oh, he has three cab archers actually. But those cab archers without even fletching, so psst, not a big deal. If you ask me. Yeah, definitely not. I think husbandry will be very good here. The castle is happening now, he's gonna make a TC at the back, and two bullets are stuck. Still ahead in village, Mr. Yo, but without Will Barrow, he will do at some point. And Mr. Yo feel that Burgundians is sick. Sick civilization with sick economy. The scout, well, if he's taking the the, the monk is bad, but he didn't. And now the, the knight is going away. He has no army. One knight and one monk. Nothing else. <clears throat> Doing a skill bar, the armor, and husbandry? He has husbandry, probably. Yes, he does. But mining more stone. Crazy. One relic per plier. And Tato is starting to take a lot of relics. A lot of relics. Okay. Hmm. He's doing finally a second tone center and the game as you can see very passive is more is more basis in the macro in the economy but Tato has 22 army Mr. Yo has more villages but less army he's doing custeliers but how many monks a lot of monks for Tato a lot of monks and that's definitely gonna be a problem for Mr. Yo Tato three relics two relics now the, the custeliers are really good but with the amount of army he has, that's gonna, gonna be deadly. And Tatito, he might see that. He need to go with the relic to that town center. Even like that, he's probably going to lose it. No, he won't. He's here, close. Ay, ay, ay. Now the crystal leaves are coming. You can definitely raid, but he has monks. And now he has, holy shit, six relics already. Yeah. Tatito with six relics already. My goodness. Well, Mr. Yo is going to get four. He should take this one. It's close to him and it will be 6-5. And those Custelier, can he snipe some units now or not? We will find out very soon. He needs to go back. You don't want to get converted. Maybe now need to go here, but no. He's trying to raid and he's going to make a second castle to protect also those two goals. But guys, four town centers, guys, for Tatot with seven farmers 40 seeds with seven farmers he's gonna have massive idle time massive idle time it's killing and now not killing anything chain bard and armor he's gonna go full custelier he's gonna try to kill now the monks he will how many is going to convert we will see he's converting man he's converting and tato does a lot of farming but need to go back he killed few monks how many monks is still? Three monks. He's going back with those. Chainbard and armor, two castles. He's gonna spam the Custelier. Because he's gonna have an amazing economy. With two tone centers, Joe has a much better boom already. In my opinion, than Tatot. Seriously. You know, this civilization is just it's just insane. Insane. He can take now. Ooh. He's gonna take the monk. He's gonna take one monk here. Yeah, and now he's gonna kill another. He's gonna take everything, man. Those units kill everything, man. Kill everything. Thank you for the gift. Vamos. Let's go. 
Vamos amigos. Thank you so much for support the channel, guys. But this population is almost the same. And you know the problem here? Mr. Joe is gonna make a third castle, probably. A third castle soon. He's doing a third town center in this area. We'll borrow, but these custodians are just broken because the first hit just dominate, man. Really dominate. Tato, as you can see, doing no more farm, but he's still getting idle time. Yeah, he has idle time for sure. And now Mr. Yo has 21, 22 Custelier. Oh my god. If he's going in, he's gonna raid like crazy. No, but he wallet and he's trapping himself. Well, it's plus two. Not a problem. I think if he gets the heal, he can kill all. Honestly. Yeah, that's why he's going away. That's really why he's going away, but he's still raiding. Nah, this game is impossible for Tato. I don't know. I might be wrong. We'll see. Look at the castle forward. This this civilization is destruction. This civilization is just destruction. He's doing a third castle. It's a safe one. You know? He's still here with so many crystal here. He's doing a castle at home. Okay. He has to be careful. Doing another TC here. The crystal here is coming and he's going to kill those units easily. And then he will take the relic number five. The economy obviously is good for both players. But ladies and gentlemen. These units that are broken. Now is not a good battle for Yo. Under the castle and with so many units as well. But still, he has more and more. And now, with that castle here, make fletching and everything, he can kill so many. Even under the TC, it's gonna come with more. And you will see what's gonna happen with that, with that army. Yeah, Siege War Shop. The castle is there on his face. He's getting corner and corner. Population almost the same. And that castle? No, no, no. He's gonna try to go Imperial with the market. He has six relics. Okay, but... Five relics for Mr. Yo, so he's fine. Completely fine. Doing the hand card. He's having all the upgrades. And well... That's sick. Do you see how good can be Burgundians? Yeah, it's definitely a, a, a completely... A different approach than all the saves because we see scout, archers, knights, nah, unique units with the castle, you know, unique units, pretty sick. And now the ram is coming, gonna take the TC, gonna take another villager, it's still tattooed with three villagers more. Yeah, but the thing here is, how many units, oh my god, how many units is doing Mr. Yo? And look at the efficiency on tattooed economy, guys, 46% efficiency. Is th this is like telling that, hey, half of your villages are not really working. You know? He's doing another castle here. But now Mr. Yo is gonna go up to Imperial. You know? Look at his resources. Holy shit. Well, he's doing a Mameluk, but he has huge army. He's gone the way to Imperial. He's gonna take the Mameluk. He's gonna kill the camels. He's gonna kill everything. He's really gonna kill everything if he want. Population is almost the same, but no the villain down. Yeah, insta down. He's going to convert something. No, he's chasing those units and he's on the way to Imperial. It's game, guys. It's game for Mr. Yo, right? Only weighs 30 Mamelukes, but even like that, if you make 30 Mamelukes, when you are going to be up to Imperial? Never. Never you're going to be able to go up to Imperial, you know? And yeah. Okay, same population for both. He's buying resources. Like, Tatot economy is just buying economy all the time with the market. He's doing more houses, now it's stone walls. He's doing the gate, but look at the score. The score difference is starting to be insane. Seriously insane. University, he's chasing the units all the time. Okay, he's gonna co come and block or not? Go. Nah, he's gonna go through this area, and then the castle is very close. Okay, gonna still do something. But guys, check Mr. Yo economy. With nine villains less, he is still... Now he's doing a lot of Mamelukes, yeah? He has 12 already. But he's in Imp at a moment, and he can go up to Imperial again if he wanted. Yeah. Tato is about to go up. That's crazy, the economy also for the Cyrus's market, right? But well, the timing, the momentum with three castles and... My goodness. And what? 
And another one. And another castle, man. And another one, like uh, the speaker is telling in my channel. Yeah. Well, he can do whatever. He's doing all the upgrades. Plus two, he's gonna make it a plus four. Chemistry, trebuchet, elite custelier. He has already two castles, no, three castles at home. The Mamelus are really strong. Tato has a good population. So let's see. But if he's doing the traps and he killed those castles before he's doing the upgrades, holy samolis. Still open and this is a house. Well, Mr. Yo feels so focused. He knows how important this match it is for the tournament. I mean, we are now in round four. Tomorrow is the last Swiss round. It's the last round tomorrow. So it's crucial. It is really crucial, you know. And the series we have after this one is crucial as well because the Viper play versus Hera and the Viper want to be in the semi-finals right away. And to make this happen, the Viper need to win today. And you know what happened if the Viper win today? That tomorrow, to decide the first position in the group, we might have the Viper Leary, you know? Which is okay, you know? It is okay. Hira will dominate to the Viper. We will see after this series. But Castle is down. The Mamelukes is still Castle Age. They are very strong. The Custelias are going. And well, good micro by Tato. Really good micro. Those eat them. But he has 40 army. And he's taking TCs. He's killing villages. He's losing Custelier, yes. But population difference is solid. The score difference is hilarious, man. It's, 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 it's hilarious. He's raiding a lot. Check the Echo KD and tell me, guys, how many villages has lost Mr. Yu in this game? Can you tell me, guys? How many villages has lost Mr. Yo in this game? Please tell me. How many villages has lost Mr. Yo in this game? Zero! Zero villains down, amigos. Zero. It's elite mamelos. They are great. I agree. But now you can do halves. Can do... And canonies can do whatever you want. And now you need to go away. Because those are going to dominate in the first... In the face-to-face. -face. But guys, Tato is doing amazing with the mamelos. The mamelos are eating the custelier. But you know what? He does have castles. Not an oath. Now he's going halves. All right, but the castle? A tomar por culo. A la mierda. GG call. Mr. Yo. Domination, guys. Mr. Yo. Real domination with the strategy. With the, with the way that usually... Well, Tatot play with the strategies, right? And he's sick. Really, really sick. Anyway, I'm going to show you guys. Statistics, APM, 63.73. They are much slower than Leo's, Hera's, Vipers, and Ko's. You know, military, the same almost kill. Army high, 46, 29, but economy? Look at Mr. Yo economy, guys. 9,000 resources more. 3K more wood, 9K more food, and 1K more stone. The only resources started with the hands was the gold. So the Saracen's market wasn't an oath. Yeah, an economy, 2.1 relic, 2.9k. So a lot of resources. Well, crazy. Really crazy. We're going to see now game number two. That is going to be what map? Uh, I don't know. They have not updated the overlay on the, on the main channel. So let's see if we can do in our overlay. Grape jars for Mr. Yo. In theory, the favor. Oh, by the way, what is the seeding of these players? Do we know the seeding or not? We need to. We need to know the seeding, guys. What is the seeding, guys? Ay, ay, ay. The seeding, amigos. I think Mister Yo is fifth and Tatot four. All right. Is that correct? Tatot four. Uh, Mr. Yo, number five. All right. 
All right, all right. Well, the players and ready to play what? What are they going to play, guys? Because the maps now are for Tato Free Lake Fortified Clearing, Mr. Yo, Kawasan, and Arabia. Yeah, yeah, yeah. I agree. For me, Mr. Yo is the best with the strategies. He's the number one with the strategies. And as you mentioned, it's about the, the APM, man. About the APM, really. You know? Yeah. Well, Chris Atwood, uh, the players voted. The players voted, but for me, make the seed in the players is a mistake. Because even if they try to be objective, there's many that got friends, you know? And if the players are voting, uh, the friendship is there, man. It is still there, man. It's really still there. Anyway, game number two, guys. Malai Kemur. Tattooed with Malai. Mr. Yokimer. Malai. Barak. Barak with Malai. You gonna. You gonna fuck your economy, man. I mean, I like this strategy, but. Malai. Sending a militia now. Uh, mm -mm -mm. This is very tricky, guys. This is very, very tricky. Let's see. You know? Let's see, guys. Well, my opinion is that Mr. Yo. It's a top four player, no matter what the seeding say, you know? Seeding is for this tournament, but still, who cares the seeding? You can still go and win. <clears throat> Two militias, scout, is going already, and... Mr. Yo need to explore fast. The militias are coming, but he's up already. And if he find the barrack, problem is that he doesn't know where he is. Big deal, guys. This is a big deal, look. He see it immediately and he has a house here, so. No problem, but this economy is blocking. Nah, won't kill anything. We'll lose also. Oh my god. Well, now he's going to adapt. Now he knows that they are. He's not going water, and that the economy is now a disaster. So what Mister Yo need to do now is to wall this area. Wall the wood and make a stable. As simple as that. Well, see. Well, he doesn't have a lot of food. That's the problem because he didn't find the two ships. Aye, aye, aye. So, what is he planning to do then? He can't really do a stable. He has to go archery range. Yeah. He has zero village on food, guys. Zero. Literally zero. That the scout is in danger to be lost. The dog is a mistake. The dog is a real mistake. You need a mine camp, you need the mail. Yeah. Obviously, man. He needs the mail. And a mining camp. Exactly. The dog now is not needed. You can do later. And he still no food to go up. Oh my lord. Let's see. He's gonna take the scout. This is really good for Tato. For for Mr. Yo. 
When I saw that Barak with Malai, Malai don't have extra. So it's really bad. He just ignored that. He can take the ship. And then now he can go archers. But no resources. He's going for the dog still. What the hell? He has one archer here. He's going to start to make farms. And well... Mr. Yo, 37 seconds I don't see. This is definitely not good. He's going with more farmers, but Tato is also now idling the TC on purpose because he has no resources to go up. And now what is he going to do? Fish? Galleys? Yeah, I mean, Mr. Yo seems to be doing everything and he's doing nothing at the end. Okay, doing now fish. Coming with the archers. The farm is great because he's grabbing the food uh, right away. And now he has the the, the ships. All uh, right. Still at the limit with the food, Mr. Yo. But the archers are coming. He knows that when you go that quick, if you have to chase your opponent, is it's going to be behind. But that's the barrack now. And what is he planning? This is definitely a very tricky and dangerous strategy by Tatot. Uh, his economy is really unbalanced. He has a lot of wood, but no food, no no gold. He's doing now a tower, so not looking good. Yeah, Tatot is investing now in defensive stuff and fish, but he's gonna make a dock. He needs to explore that, and a galley is needed, man. Is really needed. He see the dog now and. You can take the billier. Yeah, you can't deny that one. Exactly. He don't not pay attention. He's, he's gonna kill it. Oh my god, this is game. If he's denying this, it's game. Don't lose it now. Don't lose it. And the archer is there. Denying that is just game, guys. He deleted and ooh. Well, Tato in a disaster position right now. Arch is also coming. Being aggressive, Mr. Yo. Where's the Blasmith? Yeah, he's playing really well, Mr. Yo. Double attacks. And the next probably is going to be either the Fletching or maybe a stable himself. What about that stable? Okay. No, no, no. Skimisha is there. You have to be careful. Blasmith. Very good. His economy is now starting to to shine. And Kimmer economy. When he's doing more farms. Pretty sick, guys. He's gonna make another Lambert and kick a wall easily. And Kimmer economy with also extra fishing ships. Oh boy. Both players with Idle TC, as you can see. You may say, well, he's one valley ahead. No, it's the same village with well, slightly advantage. But he's Malai. Malai usually is two villages ahead, you know? Two villages ahead. He's gonna wall completely, and if Khmer is fully walled, in my opinion, in this situation with Malai, with Khmer fully walled, Malai has close to zero chances. Horse collar, make more farms, one is stable at the back and make a scouts, in case that he's coming with the skirmishers. But the archers are coming. Oh my god. I know the villager down. Yeah. Oh, he's immediately. But he's gonna lose it. He's fletching. Oh, he made the house. Okay. I like it. I really like it. Still gonna lose it. Nah. They are very fast. Very nice. Ooh. Almost! Ooh! He did it, man! It's the only way where now Tatot could come back. A mistake by Yo. And he did the mistake. He Jesus, man. This cannot happen, man. How the hell can this happen? I don't know. He's gonna make a tower or something? No, he's not gonna panic. He shouldn't panic. He has now the, the, the archer and the skirmisher. He's gonna go with Villiers? Not really. Crazy, really crazy, but still inside with the archers. He's still ahead. Three villages. Okay. 
And now with the skirmish, you focus on the archer. But it's not micro, Mr. Yo. Yeah, it's not really micro, Mr. Yo. You can notice how the army controlled by Yo is a little bit off. Really, really off, I would say. Gonna lose now a villager here. And maybe a knowledge. You make a house. It's crazy, man. You, you can't really notice here. The strat is really great, but for example, the multitasking, the speed with the in this kind of situation, controlling the units, much lower than all the players. That's the problem with Yo. You know? That's the real problem with Yo, because you have to control now here like God. To to control this. He has a lot of idol. His economy is a total mess. And well, he put Tatot not back in the game. Ahead in the game right now. You leave a hole and all your advantage is gone. And you might see the score that Yo is still ahead. He's a lie. He's not ahead anymore. Look at now Tatot economy. He's going Castleage. Yeah. With two villas more. Without fishing ships. But he's on the way to Castleage. Now he's doing the market. Yeah. He will buy resources to go up. But doesn't matter now because he's gonna be really ahead. Malai is super fast, also. Yeah, man. It's crazy, right? It's really crazy. One hole, and it was what? Three arches and two skirmishes? Well, when you don't have um, anything to defend, that's huge, guys. That's really huge. The score said 500 score ahead. Eh. No. It's not that ahead. Two villains on goal. Or village on goal now. He's on the way to Castleage. Still, he's doing now. He has a galley. And remember, that Khmer economy is pretty sick. So, uh oh. Well, he's not attacking. He could attack. What is now Mr. Yo going to do? Because now, Tato is in Castleage. Crossbow and Botkin Arrow. He's coming. Well, he needs skirmishes. He's coming with six arches. It's not so many, to be honest. He shouldn't have a big problem. And he should do now his tables? Probably. Yeah, his skirmishes are plus one, plus one. But explain me why, why he's here with the skirmishers. It's pretty obvious that he's gonna come to the wood. Right? Yeah. The arches are there. And... Need to move. But how he can lose villiers there, man? I don't understand this. You see that he's around and you don't move the villiers? It's crazy. Like, he's there, man, all the time. Yeah, he's gonna take now one. He's gonna make this table. And only five villiers on goal. Now, you need a tower here. Or move. Because he's coming. All right. That archer going back. And still 10 arches for this is villains and this is crazy man super slow mr yo he's gonna make another wall or not okay he's doing the house now what is he going to do he's gonna mine gold doing botkin arrow and he's losing all the units not controlling anything right now i don't know if he's just confused now snowball or what but Mr. Yo is suffering. He's having problems. Still, three villains ahead only. That's pretty much nothing. But after Tone Watch, he's now getting denied all the wood. All the time. At least Kirmis and Botkin will clean this. With some good micro, it's sold. Yeah, the wood. Okay. And now he's coming. And the goal is in danger. It's incredible what the hole has done in this game. This is crazy, man. Really crazy. He got it. He killed a monk. That's really, really important. The arches are coming. And he is still unable to clean. Unable to clean, guys. Wow. He's coming with two knights. He needs to delete the house. Why the farther one? Okay, well, he's farther from the farm. So, makes sense. He got a demo in case that he's coming. He is still okay because he was really ahead to Tatot. Tatot was in a really bad position, which now is completely different. He has 52 bullets, 19 crossbows, 
two TCs. He still have only Bozo, no horse collar, but no Bozo for, for Yo. And what he will do now? He has only one tone center. He should go and make a TC. He has 900 foot, guys. He's doing a great tone center, protecting the wood and the gold. And we need to see now what Mr. Yo is going to do. Military numbers 2014, doing the tone watch. Skirmishes all the knights going, not really. And not attacking anymore. Yeah, now he's afraid. Now he's. Look at the food he has. All right. And Mangonel coming, guys. Mangonel coming. Many skirmishes, not really. Only nine. Those are going to be plus two. But he's coming with the Mangonel. With the Mango Mel. But the scout, why he sacrificed, why he suicide? I don't know. TC is perfect. Behind the wood lane. All right. He's taking a lot. A lot of forces. And now he will kill farmers. He shouldn't. Oh my god. Seriously. Seriously, Mr. Yo, what's going on? It's like he stopped playing, man. Goodness. Siege workshop in top of that town center. Okay. He's doing the bloodlines. Sending the scout? Not really. Yeah, those searches, bye bye. Now husbandry and scale bar in armor. But Mangonel is in a very good position. The siege workshop hill, hill. The list is still similar. Now let's see the micro. Another stable, doing light caps. Light caps, skill bar, armor. Okay, and the mangonel is coming. Two mangonels. The micro need to be now so in, so strong. How many skirmishes is 10? 20 archers. He got double. And both stables doing light caps. Let's go now to Mr. Yo's point of view. Tatot. Can't see Mr. Yo. Not yet. He's about to see it. Mangonel. He saw immediately. I love it. Very nice. But now. Oh, man. He's going to lose it. And now you need to kill it. But he can't. Better micro by Tatot. Tato controlling now the unit is so great. The strategy in the start for Tato was bad, which is usually where he shined, but now he's controlling the units really, really good. Really good. Mangonel down. Terrible micro by Yo. Losing everything all the game. Losing everything. Now the knight down. Losing two Mangonels. Now he's with the skirmishes that he's gonna. Well, he's not gonna lose because he's plus two, plus two. Now the knight is gonna be bye bye. Okay. But still market bye bye. Light caps, more light caps. Okay, Magonel coming. And uh, let's see, because now Tatot has a huge advantage. He's still here with a demo. Skirmishes are coming, but it's three Magonels. And if you don't make it now, if Mr. Yo is not doing a huge bada boom, it's gonna be a disaster. The light caps are not plus two, so maybe it's not gonna be an oath. Okay. He's going for the arches with the light caps, all right. But he has. Ooh. He did it. Some good Magona shot. And now it's skirmishes. So he's taking but he's doing a much better army control here. Really good. Really good play here by Tatot, who has now 20 villages more. 20 villages more with four tone centers. It's true that the macro is not perfect. I mean he has 1500 wood, so definitely is not the perfect macro with only two three villages on goal. Now he's adding more. But ooh, ooh. Almost losing everything, Tato, there, but they still managed to control the Mangomel. Not anymore. This was bad for Tato. Lost two Mangonels for nothing. And the score is still getting closer. This one problem here for Tato. The problem is that Khmer Echo is always dangerous. Really dangerous. And even if you are 23 bullets ahead, if it's a start to do in nights now with the skirmishers, be careful. Be careful. He has a good amount of light caps. Those are with plus two? No. Plus one only. And the light caps? Sorry, the arches? No ballistic. Okay. Yeah, but man, he's. He's. He's 105 villages, man. He's 105 villages. Is, is Mr. Yo not doing villages or what? He's 30 villages more, man. 
how the hell, man? How the hell is with so many bullets ahead? That's crazy. That's seriously crazy. Yeah, he's doing elephants, man. I mean, he's doing elephants. Like, seriously, elephants. With Malai. Oh boy, he lost another. And now he can see those. He's gonna... He sell a stone. And he's gonna go up to Imperial Age. I don't know if he need to go up to Imperial right now. He should probably keep doing army because... If he's going aggro, okay. You have to be careful. Mr. Yo is doing quite a lot of farming now. Trying to get in. He block it. He want to raid, but he can't. He's walling even the TC. Now he's gonna go in. Because now the farming is unprotected. This is what happened in this map. If you go fast there and kill, you can take a lot of villages. And that's really good. But still, Tato is on the way to Imperial. He can make now a castle. And I can't believe how... One hole here. How? One hole here. It costing him the game, man. Is it it or not? He was in an excellent position. And from one hole, he couldn't recover. Right? He couldn't recover. Anyway, Mr. Yo keep trying. He has now 94 villages and Timbard in armor, gold mine in upgrade. Still spamming knights. Oh, boy. Oh, really, boy. He's doing the castle at home. That's the only good thing. Because now, uh, Mr. Yo might have the resources to go up soon. He has so many arches. He has 22 arches. That's a lot of arches. But he's, he's wasting the nights, man. Just go back. He's doing the castle now. He has to be careful. He's going to lose everything, man. He's, he's game over, man. He's game over. He's crazy. Absolutely crazy. How this game has no ball for the Chinese player. Well, he's about to go up to Imperial. He has 1,700 foot. He's on the way to Imperial. He's gonna make a tower. He has Botkin. He should do Ballistic. He should drop that, that Relic or he's gonna lose it. Okay. The tower is gonna be up. And now Bill is in the tower, man. He did it and on the TC now. But the tower is gonna fall. Yeah. He's gonna fall immediately. He could do another tower and guard tower or ballistic. I don't know. But we will see. He still have 110 villains, but no army, guys. Poor army. Basically, no army at all. He's gonna make another tower or a TC, man. Yeah, he has the resources. Just make a own center. All the farmers are unprotected. He's doing now some ballista elephants. Well, ballista elephants are good against the archers. If you mass them, yes. But he's coming now with a forward castle. The game is over, guys. The game is over. And Tatot took, has one opportunity and he took it. You know? One opportunity, he take it. Or not. Of course, man. He's doing another castle here. I mean, Mr. Yo is a try hard. He's gonna keep trying, but he's dead. Like, what army he can do here, Mr. Yo? I mean, we have seen Mr. Yo doing some huge comebacks, but Tatot is not gonna give up. Come on, not gonna throw. He can't throw. He really can't throw. Yeah, he's not even gonna make it the castle here. You know, for me, it's kind of disappointed because it really feels that the candidates to win the tournament are, are limits, man. Like, it feels that it's really difficult that, that Hera, other than Hera, Lear, or Viper, I think that they are not at, the, at their level uh, right now. You know, maybe they're going to improve with the tournament. Anything can change. But how we have seen all them playing, it's... I notice a clear difference, you know. Well, we will see Her Hera and Viper after this series. And then we can see if also Viper is at the level, you know. Because Viper lost with... Uh, 
with uh, Vilese, but then he, he won two series quite clear, I would say. Okay. To his tables, he's doing towers. His population, the population is ridiculous, you know, like... He has no army, man. Like, he still have villains, but... But basically, zero army. I think he has... He's kind of upset, like, tilt. Like, he was feeling that the game was going so well. And then one hole, it was over, man. And the bad thing is that with one hole, he couldn't recover. Ever. Yeah, well, plus four ar units. But he got so many. He has five army, man. Please call it, Mr. Yo. It's too much already. Yeah, this is this is make no sense. Like, make no sense at all to me. It's true that he has 54 farmers. But 200 population, 100 pop is double, man. Piper Hera, Leary, Royal Rafa Djokovic. <laughs> Maybe true. Maybe true. Good point. Talasocracy is entity. But why Mr. Yo is not giving up, man? This is crazy, man. He's not doing any army. Kassar, okay. Kassar upgrade. He has 54 farmers, that's true. But how many stables he has? Six stables, but all in front. And he's gonna lose them all. You can see how all our... All his army is getting killed. How about this? I think he's, he's, got, he's still going, you know? Doing another tower. He has now two tone centers. And the halves are there. Well, he's raiding. He's raiding his opponent, but it's still like, okay, he is he's clear in favor to, to Tatot. Those Kassars are killing the Halves. Still going, 111 population. Is he gonna repair the castle or not? Nope, he's not. Yeah. I mean, I know it, that's a great point, Chris Atwood. Like, we as a viewers or caster and so on, we are thinking, oh man, this is over, what's going on and so on. So, his opponent can get a lot more frustrated and, and, and annoyed. All right, that's a good point. But the problem here is that he can, he need to kill the siege. He's going for the bomber cannons, okay. He's trying to kill, kill the bomber cannon. It's with very low HP. I think he's gonna kill with one touch. Got it. And if he killed those traps, okay. He might that now he come back. You know? Then I will cannot cast any more this tournament. Because I will be ashamed. Shame of myself. Right? Yeah, guys. If he's coming back, I stop streaming and I'm not casting Knack 4 anymore. How is sound? Is a good deal? I mean, it's fair. It's absolutely fair, you know? Yeah. I, I'm done. I, I, I'm done. I, I, I'm done completely. Well, I hope he's coming back. I want to chill and rest with my wife. Oh, did they say this, did they say this live? Fuck. No, no, no. I, I was joking. I was joking. Tato is going for the water. All right. But guys, seriously. Mr. Yo... Is the biggest tryhard in the community, man. Insane, seriously. Seriously insane, honestly. Like, my goodness. Still going with Kassar trying to... Bravo! Bravo! Well... I prefer tryhard than early GG. Early GG is bad. This kind of tryhard is bad also. In my opinion. Because 
is, I mean, and I want that always promote the, the, the comebacks, the potential comebacks, but this is impossible, man. It's really impossible. It's true that the opponent needs to be incredibly, incredibly patient, you know? Otherwise, he can fail, you know? APM for Yo 60 is basically half the APM that Hera or Leary. Tato 77, statistics, military. 171, 138, economy. At the end, 10K resources more. And seriously, he lost because of one hole, which is crazy. It's really crazy. Seriously. Push-ups, why? I only make push-ups with the donations, man. You should know, man. Donation, push-up. No donation, no push-up. What the hell, man? Crazy. Now Kawasan, Kawasan map. Let's go. And then the Viper versus the Viper versus Hera next series. All right, not bad. Push up for a soup. Thank you so much for the soup. No. Okay. See? No. See, no. Oh my god, another soup. That's sick, man. Thank you so much for the six moons. Kawasa, guys. Kawasa in the house. Let's see, because after the previous game, anything can happen. And now we have Mr. Yodravidians. Tatot. Byzantines. And honestly, I prefer Byzantines, man. Much better. Much better. Three euros, amazing donation push-ups. With three euros, I'm gonna make half a push-up. Okay? Thank you so much, Mr. Mr. Albandi. Media push-up. Thank you for donating to my papi. Oh, that's started to be stronger. Dravidians and Byzantines. Let me show you. Where's the overlay, man? It's not working, man. The damn overlay. What civilization do you prefer? Mm. Well, because Kawasan is different map now. Uh, the middle is not that important. And this is not, is not uh, Empire Wars, you know? Very nice. Here, Mr. Yo, you save it by the bell. The relics are not in the middle anymore. <clears throat> Mr. Yo, Dravidians, we have seen how strong it can be, this opening. But after that, you really need to play so smooth. Like, really, really smooth. Not gonna be easy. We'll see. We'll really see, guys. Well, Dravidia is good here if you go really aggressive. If not, then Byzantines will shine and you won't be able to catch up. Like, seriously. Okay. He's doing the loom. The opening is so important, remember? And he's going up faster. Tato is starting to shine. Six seconds I don't see. Okay. And he's going up. With two seconds. Three. What? Why he was idle, man? He shouldn't be idle. Barak already ignoring the water. Well, maybe he's not ignoring the water. Because you get 200 extra wood. So, yeah. The ship, why he's not moving? And? This is cool. Very, very cool. In mind that now he deleted the TC. 
this kind of fast deleting is it's tricky, you know, because you are sending back and, well, it's a problem, man. Surprise can happen. Surprise really can happen. And Mr. Yo is coming now crazy aggressive. Oh, man. This is the way you can use Dravidians and dominate. And honestly, I think Mr. Yo play better in these kind of situations. And this is why we like Mr. Yo. Also, Tato sometimes, they go with the weird strategies. Oh, man. And now Tatot is not aware because he's coming here and don't see the barrack. Don't see anything here. So. It's going for the water or not? One fire galley. Archie range. And he's there already with the men at arms. And he's doing a fire galley, Mr. Yo. No. I can't believe he's not doing a fire galley when he has the resources. This is bad. He's gonna lose the fish. He's gonna try to create chaos. He put him out of goal. Okay. But why he's uh, why he went away? He was wall. I don't understand. But now he's gonna take the water. That's that's absolutely sick. And the fire galley is, you know, it's. It's so complicated. You need to go back and repair. Wake is not going. I don't know. Scout with more HP and. Problem is, he's taking the goal. Maybe. He's gonna make a tower. He's not doing the tower. Alright. He took already one fishing ship. And now he's gonna put one in, the, in between, which is so annoying. Just look, he's taking that one and now he's gonna kill the other. And 26 foot in the hell, oh my god. Well, Tatot being really, really smart on the water. Of course, he's having some troubles here. But Mr. Joy still didn't do any damage. A tower here will be a lovely. Why? You deny the wood and the berries. And the fish is not gonna be forever, you know. I will do a tower here. In this area. In this box. An oath to dominate. Can you? Come on, man. My viewers will think that. Oof, what a caster. Tower, man. I will make the box bigger, guys. So I have more space. Okay. Here. Yes, you see, guys? In the box that I put. You know? In the, in the box that I put. You know? Exactly there. You know? Come on, man. <laughs> And die. <laughs> Fuck. Well, I like the tower, but man, it's it was in my opinion it was better here. You get the berries and the wood, man, and you even get another wood too. Like seriously, I mean it's a nice tower, but isn't better here? Let, let's be honest. Come on. No, no, but it's a better tower here. What? Well, well, shut up, man. It's better tower here. Anyway, he's now coming with his chemists and the men at arms. He's now taking the fish. Oh boy. Oh, really, boy? And he's gonna focus or not? Ay, ay, ay. Okay. <laughs> this is idle. He has so many idols. There's a lot of mess now in the game. He's mining a stone, going for the uh, for the tower. He is still 36 for the 32. It's because of the fish. He has more fish. Yeah, but not anymore. He's gonna kill it. And this one? It's now fishing now. Gonna make another fire galley? Not really. He wallet, it. But just look. I mean, he has nine villains on berries. Honestly, if he did the tower here, he has no food, man. Seriously. What what food he has, Mr. Yo now? Uh Tatot. It's the berries. He lost the fish? Or he's gonna lose it? Almost. Or maybe not, because he's repairing and he do not notice. Alright. And then all his food? It's it's the berries now. What the hell? He's coming with more skirmishers. And the problem here is clear for Yo. There is a lot of chaos, but... He's mining stone with two villages. And zero villages on goal for Tatot. He's mining a lot of... I mean... Tatot economy is, is, is really a mess now. Because he's mining a lot of stone for so long. You know? And he has done so many towers. That's always impact negatively in your wood. In your in your economy, sorry. He's doing more skirmishers. 
And what is he doing, going to do now? He should do Tone Watch, but then now Market. No Horse Collar. And Fish? Why no Fire Galleys? Yeah, you need some Fire Galleys, man. Yeah, Fire Galleys is needed. Now he has Fletching. Fletching is going to be a lot better. Now he's doing the Blasmid. Okay. And I insist a tower here was sick. But you louth, and I have to say, okay, it's fine. Well, you know, whatever. Whatever, whatever, whatever. Fire Galley. Oh my god, Mr. Yo, disaster. Fire Galley gonna lose all the fish. And if he loses this fish, it's, it's, it's not game, but. You know, it's not game because he has 600 gold and he can, he can balance his economy, but. He's coming with five values into what? He's gonna go crazy. He is going crazy. He's doing the fire galley, that's good. The man at arms still alive. Mr. Yo is still with more army, and this is the games that we love to see. Okay, he's coming. He's coming. He's gonna try to kill the tower? Or he's gonna make a counter tower here? He's gonna make a tower? Remember that Byzantine is. Yeah, he's doing the tower. Byzantine towers are stronger. They are more HP. The fire galley is here already. He's gonna do another. Yeah. He's gonna repair? He will. Now he's multitasking properly. I like it. I like it. They are both doing, uh, well, a lot of things to do in this game. Which is a very nice one. We love when there is aggression. But Mr. Yo is still fully open. Tatot. Economy is a disaster. He has defended with towers. But his economy is much, much worse than his opponent. He has to be careful now with this fire galley. The villager is about to be bye-bye. He has another fire galley coming. He has to repair. And ladies and gentlemen, don't tell me how, but yes, Mr. Yo is on the way to Castle. It's that tower is there and he should have wallet. If, he's de if he didn't, now he can go with villages, but he's going to make another tower on the wood. And it's crazy. Obviously, Tatot is not too far now going up, but population, Yo is ahead. And Tatito. Oof, oof. But now, what is gonna be the following? I believe Botkin. And in this situation, seriously, oh my god, the guy not walling, not walling anything. But this is the difference in the whole games and in the whole tournament. One player tried to wall everything. Look, millions of houses, towers, and not trying to not let him come and do the damage. Here, zero walls, all open. So you are f beep if he's coming. And he is coming. He's gonna make a tower now or not. Well, stone. Gonna make a house. You need to make a tower in this area. To protect the wood and the gold. His economy is... Okay, he's up to castles and Tatot. Just using the market like crazy. Alright. He's here with arches and skirmishers. And how he's gonna defend this? I don't know. What I will do if I was him? Well, we oh my god, an ad. I forgot to play ads. Sorry, guys. Shit. I hate this. Too many things to, to take care of in the channel, guys. I'm sorry, guys. I forgot that now it's going to be a nut in the game, which I hate it. I really hate it. He's losing all the fish. Yeah, he's losing all the fish. The, the advantage oh, he was having yeah. is kind of bye-bye. Thank you so much for the gift. Uh-oh. Yeah, well, he's fine. And now what? He's losing the tower. But what I will do if I'm him... Well, not only another tower, but you need a brace, man. He has no botkin. Now he has no economy. He's doing another tone center at TC at home. Siege workshop now. But... Nah. It's not working for Yo, I think. Oh! Elephants. For real? He did an elephant. Now he's doing monks. Oh, man. He's creating chaos. He's gonna do a mangonel, another elephant. What is he gonna do? I don't know. Monks is really good. That's really, really good. But his economy is still a total mess. He's coming with a demo. Bam. Down. But all the fish is gone. Here he took also this lake. All right. And still, he's chasing those. Botkin, no Botkin. But guys, armored elephant. Oh, man. Surprise. Because the armored elephant is gonna take the tower easily. Here, what is he gonna do? He should do a mill with this, Valise. 
Why his Tefil is there and the elephant is gonna take the tower. Fast and unpredictable. All right, at home, he's well defended now with the tone center. On the wood, at least. He's trying to attack and he has knights incoming. But there is a monk. That he has a monk too? Yes, almost there. And now he needs to go back with the elephant. Go back with the elephant and convert the knight. It's exactly what he's going to do. He's doing a siege workshop at home. That's crazy now. And going back and heal. He can heal with the with the with the monk, I believe. The the ram, the elephant ram. I like to call elephant ram. You know. Anyway, this is another tone center. Three TCs. Obviously, if Mr. Yo is able to keep booming, he's gonna be really ahead. But the problem is that he's not doing villages. You know, the, the TC idol is real. It's now taking a relic. Okay, and he will heal those. More relics are needed, but he's not doing. Yeah. And the wood? Woo. Exposed. Very, very exposed. He's coming with a mangonel. And he has done the game a complete chaos. And what Tatot is doing and why he's ahead in the game is because of the stone. Right now he's gonna make another TC. He has a stone to make a castle. Who's gonna make the castle? I have no clue. The archers are coming. And he can see them now with the LOS. Ooh. Well. No, no, no. Just send a village and repair. Gonna lose villages? Not really. And that telephone archer taking the crossbow. In this spot, what's gonna happen? He healed it completely. Another TC, as we mentioned. Seven villages more. Tatot with more army. But what army now is gonna make Mr. Yo? I don't know. He has a monk here. He has the villages on the berries. And I wouldn't be surprised that Tatot is making a castle on top of that hill and then get all the berries. He's, well, not yet, not there, but in this spot. He's gonna make a mangonel. He's gonna try to kill this one. He has a monk. He should go. He's not going, and the knight will take it. The mangle, I think he should cancel it. But this castle is not really great, actually. Like, you can go, just go back. You're fine. Yeah? He's coming with the mangle here. Just make more monks. I think so. Yeah, more monks and, and then archers. But he has no army, man. Mr. Yo still has no army at all. And now... Pfft, one scout's really going to... He has to kill it, man. But now, where's the monk? I don't know. He's losing everything. He has nothing, guys. He's crazy. I don't know what Mr. Yo is doing. He has no army at all. You saw in the previous series how with Dravidians, the key for Leary was that he was having a lot of military. He's booming, but five army. No army, man. Zero army. And now his opponent with a thorn, man. He's going to get the, the monks back. He's doing more monks. I don't know why. Doing another TC, what he's gonna do? Four tone centers with zero military? It's... It, I, I don't know how to explain the strategy right now. Because if he's not doing any military, he will lose the game. Even if he's ahead in villages right now by 10, 11 villages. But he's gonna keep pushing. Now it's lucky that Tato is pushing just the farmers, but... We'll see. Okay, finally doing archery ranges. He's still not mining his stone because he's doing the tone center. Redemption even. Wow. Well, the monks are much better. So now, to catch up those numbers, you need to make a big battle boom. Which, don't think is going to happen. And Tatot, now doing tone centers in the middle. He's recovering all the map with towers. Towers, man. And now, he has three tone centers close to make the fourth. University is skirmishers. He did a good battle boom here. Yeah, Tato doesn't have too many units either now. 614, Bozo. Okay. Not really big economy average, but remember. Remember that the Byzantines, well, cheaper to go up to Imperial. But there's one problem here. Tato has four TCs, but just now, because he put those villages on the berries, he got 17 on food. His food is really not the best right now. Okay. So let's see. Oh, there's a galley there. Peace. Peace. It's coming with a mangonel, but only with a mangonel. Doesn't make sense. Gonna send his kibbutz. He's housed now. Housed forever, Mr. Yo. He is still with nine devilies. But seriously, why you send... 
Oof. Why you send the Mangonel alone? He's lucky that Tatot got nothing here. Like, literally nothing. Okay. Yeah, now he's gonna have the... He has redemption. 104 population. He's still with a really crazy boom. And what Mr. Yon need is to make a castle here. He will do... If he's doing a castle here, it will be a massive damage. And yo won't micro, man. He's not micro in anything, man. He's losing a lot. Just look at the KD, man. He's losing really a lot. I don't know where he's paying attention, but he's just losing all the units. Tato is much, much, much faster with this and paying attention to everything. Doing Will Barrow now, okay. He's starting to make more upgrades. Of course, the Ravidians now are limited because since he has now the Siege and he has a Thorne man, Redemption, oh my god. Oh my goodness. Oh my goodness. Well, he need light caps or something. I know Dravidians is, is not for that those units, but he need light caps because his opponent has uh, the monks, he's coming with knights, so you can't be only with the skirmishes. And not only also with a mangonel. Oh, let's see. Okay, ooh, and now Tato not paying attention. The siege, man. Ay, ay, ay. The monk is coming. But now these skirmishes are really good. Why? They got all the upgrades. They got ballistic. Well, no ballistic for Tatito. Tato has only two knights. So if he takes the siege now, which. Ooh, repair, man. Repair. Ay, ay, ay. Ay, ay, ay. Ay, ay, ay. Almost losing all the damage. Ooh! He converted and the skirmishes to the damn hell. He lost absolutely everything, man. Absolutely everything. Oh, man. Oh, man. What camera is messing up? What camera is messing up? What happened to the cameras? What cameras is messing up? What, what is he talking? Imperial Age. He's on the way to Imperial, but he's going to Imperial doing a castle with three villains. There is two knights and he has nothing to defend. Well, he has a monk here. He's trying to convert, but he can't. He's going to make the castle there, but he's coming with a mangonel. He has skirmishes and it's incredible. Because for me, Mr. Yo is not playing a great game and he still has chances to win the game, which is crazy. You know, population, Tatot, with, uh, well, more population, but... How are you gonna do now? Well, you need Bomber Cannons. He has redemption. Remember, need to repair. TC, in danger to be lost. What else is going to do now with Dravidians? Gonna take the goal and look at those knights doing the job. Here, sneaky and raiding. All right, he can see it, but Tatot is not killing. He's a nice guy. You know, Tatot is like, he's playing too sloppy. I don't want to kill your bellies, man. Just come and convert. Yeah, Tato is a cool guy. All right, Skirmish is open, splitting those. As you can see, he's converting, and now he's, he's more fair. Well, and now they also, yeah, you don't kill me, I don't kill you. All good, all good. We, we fight later. All right, what a game, guys. What a game, seriously. Peace. All right, two relics, one relic, and the Skirmish is going around. Yeah, are they attacking now? Finally. Now, now they notice that this game is to kill each other, man. All right. He's gonna kill it. You, not, you have to kill it. Chemistry is really the boost. I don't know, man. I really don't know what to say. If Mr. Yo come back in this game, I'm going to, 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 to... Don't believe it, man. But he has the cavalry, man. The cavalry. 30 farmers, 30 on goal. Belize is still 122. Tato, 132. Is it possible, man? Byzantine should destroy the Ravidians now. Let's see. I might be wrong. Now he has, he's doing the crossbows, but he has zero archers. Zero. Literally zero. With chemistry, he maybe can do bomber cannons and. Mangonel down. Mangonel down. My goodness. All right. As you can see, Mr. Yo. It's... How many units has lost Mr. Yo in this game? For not migraine. Whoa. The unique units are here, but there's a monk. 
And he's going to convert. Those units, look how they kill the siege. But he converted, of course. He's gonna go now and kill it. Kill the siege, man. Yeah. They eat the siege fast. Look, look, look. Oh my god. Con el látigo. Mira, mira, mira. Ah. Uh, ah. Uh. He's in the circus. Let's go. They are ridiculous units. So small. And they lose that they can't do no damage, but they do. They really do. Now, Arrowless and Skirmish, it's population 153, 163. The Mangonel, of course, and no the Mangonel down. And these Mangonels now, oh boy, Hazards. Hazards and Plate Bard in armor. But guys, if you do halves, he has one of the strongest infantry in the game. Those Hazards are not the best. They don't have bloodlines. Now he's going to lose another monk. The Arbalists are going to take over those Hazards. And here is raiding, but the Arbalest kill the Hazards. If you micro, yes. If you don't micro, no. It's gonna how it's gonna make a house? No way. Alright. Keep coming. And another Arbalest down. And sorry, Mangonel down. And with this Arbalest, Mangonels will go down too. What the hell is going on in this game? Population almost the same. And now Tatot also with with little little army, man. Make the house, man. House, man. Make a house, man! It's fine. Tato is not... Okay, he's killing now. It's not doing a house, guys. It's not doing a house now. Doing the barrack. There's no quick wall for Mr. Yo. He's gonna lose all the villages. He's, he's, this, he's this crazy. He's seriously crazy. He's still with Arbalest. What is crazy is that he's still in the game, man. He really is still in the game. He still have 135 villages. And now... He's gonna wall this Valir, but wall, wall, he didn't. All right, more barracks, all the gold miners in danger to be lost. Yep, in danger to be lost, but the middle is being recovered. How come? How Tatot is not destroying already? Uh, I don't know. He's doing now Khazars, but he noticed that Khazars is not a node, and he's starting to make skirmishers. All right. But if he's coming now with halves, those are not gonna be an oath. Coming with the pikes, gonna finish this TC. Yeah, well, Hazards and mobility is gonna make a castle in this area, but make some houses, some quick walls, man. Some quick walls, Mr. Yo. Quick walls. Quick walls. Beep. The Arbalists are in time, but he's still losing more and more villages. And now, Tatot is coming with a castle forward. He's losing more and more map. And he's going with the Khazard raiding at the back. In this area, the castle in front is just sick. Now he needs Bomber Cannons and he's not doing them because he has no goal. He's gonna make a Lambercam. He's gonna finish the castle. He can still expand all over. And Mr. Yo, one relic. Tatot, two relics. The castle is in front. And this one is going to be down. But the Arbalists are coming. Yeah, a lot of Arbalists by Yo, to be honest. A lot of Arbalists. However, these will eat those Hussars, maybe. But he has his skirmishes, man. Those skirmishes, almost fully abraded. But skirmishes from Mr. Yo, fully abraded completely. Still, Tatot, 46 army, 38. This castle is gonna be down. And now he's ready more and more. The halves are gonna help. Yes, they are. But where's the bomber cannons? In this siege war shop. So, if he's going to go now... With the Bomber Cannon, he can't take the Trebuchet. We'll see if he's gonna be in time. Only now chemistry from, from Tatot. And why he's not sending the Bomber Cannon? I have no clue. Now he's coming back. And Tatot, 40 his army, 200 population. And Tatot is winning the series. GG call, in my opinion, Mr. Yo. Cuckoo play, in my opinion. You know, I mean, it's what I think. When they play sick and amazing, I say, I don't think Mr. Yo is playing good. You know? I don't think so. Anyway, 64 APM for Yo, 70 statistics, military, 150, 45, 103, economy, tattooed with 4K resources more, and 146, 137. Why I'm telling that I don't think he's playing well? Well, because in this game, I think he got a really big advantage. And Tatot with three towers, he killed him, you know? He killed him, seriously. And then he was losing a lot of units all the time. I really think that after the early aggression fail, 
He didn't know how to adapt. I don't know what you think, guys. He didn't know how to adapt. It is my is my feeling, you know? It is my feeling. It is my feeling. Okay. Tato Tato has the best, the better civilization for the later game. Yes, but the start, the start was really good for, for 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 Mr. Yo in my opinion. He was doing really good. People say they are better than Japanese. Which one? Yeah, the, I think Dravidians huh, are very good in the opening, but then Cuckoo. Then uh, Cuckoo. No, 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 no. Japanese is so strong, man. Like, seriously, man. Japanese is really, really strong. No. You cannot, you cannot compare those. Definitely not. Yeah. No. Definitely not. Definitely not. Yeah, I will play an ad now, guys. So we don't have ads in in the game. Okay, let's see, guys. Let's see. Okay, um, I think Mr. Yo is feeling uh, awkward. I mean, I know Mr. Yo pretty well. And why I'm being uh, criti critical with him? Because we are trying to, to focus on what the players are capable. And I want to ask you, do you think Mr. Yo can play better than he's playing today? Or do you think Tatot is just playing at, at, at an incredible level? I think both players can play better. Honestly, you know, but Tato is playing definitely more solid, you know. Persian ban very weird. No, why is very weird. Persians are incredible in the in the um, frigid lake, you know. Incredible in frigid lake. They are so strong in frigid lake. But they didn't. They didn't uh, pick free the lake, right? They they did free the lake, and Persons is great. They have played already free the lake, so yeah. Yeah. Well, let's see what is going to be now. And uh, still Japanese, Tatars, and Burmese. Well, it's gonna be what? It's Arabia, guys. So we are starting. Ooh, pretty sick. Mongol Statot, Mr. Yo, Tatars, Arabia, Arabia game. And now we have here the mill, four bullets on wood. Okay. What I prefer here. Well, I think it's a close matchup, and depend a lot how the game is going. Because I think in Castleage, in Castleage, obviously Tatars can be better, thumbing for free, and those skill advantage, bonus skill can be sick. But if the game go for a longer game, then be careful with uh, with the Mongols. 
be really careful with the Mongols for sure. Well, let's see. Mongols and Tatars. There you go. Well, how you stop the Magudas, right? If they can go for a long game. But also this can be a uh, step lancers. I don't know. Let, let's see if Tatot has something prepared. His map. Well, the goal is very easy to protect. Not that much the, the, the berries, but you can wall around in circles and then his map with three wood lanes close is very nice. That uh, map for Yo is very good too. I mean, look at the goal, very close to the wood, easy to wall for to the edge of the map. Berries not too far. So you know, really the barrack is stone at the back. You wall here, oh, sorry. You wall here to the edge of the map. Yeah, it is fine map. Tato obviously is going up very quick, 19 population. And now he's gonna do what? Let's see what he's going to do. Flaming camels? What happened with flaming camels? Okay. It's on goal. So he's gonna go for men at arms. All right. Tatot is going to scouts still. He's not going on goal. Or he's gonna go skirmish. He's the only choice. Scouts or skirmishers? Scouts. And he can see it. But now you have to be careful. Okay. Three militias. He's gonna have how many militias on goal? Two. He still have ships. And remember that Tatars last 50% longer. Oh my god. He was up without the loom. That's nice. That's very nice. And he's coming. But he's walling now. He's gonna be used fine. He's walling everything. Obviously, he's spending resources. But that's, that's fine. He's waiting to see if he's gonna be able to, to invest on the men of times or what? What happened, man? How you eat the town center, seriously? He's doing the men of time now, okay. He almost hit the TC. Yeah, and now if you don't control the units crazy, you are bye-bye. Nah, he's walling, and those men of times can be trapped if he's not being careful. Okay, he's going away, and now he has the RT range, so those men of arms now do nothing. Well. Uh, well. He didn't lose anything. I was going to say, if he lose those bullets, snowball game again, but that was fine. That was really fine. He's gonna wall the the resources or not? It's still open here. Why? I don't know. Yeah, but the spear is closed. That's why he's not bothering. He's still with the men at arms here and trying to break the palisade, which is not gonna happen. He's doing now the archie range now, which is quite uh, quite slow. Because already Tatot got arches and his skirmishes on the way. All right. He's calling me one phone, guys. Sorry, but for many times this evening. See you again. Okay, uh, four bullets on wood. One, two, three, four farmers. I'm sorry, guys. They, they were calling me like 10 times, and it's just stupid things, but yeah. 
one volley different, he didn't lose anything, but both players with idle TC, idle TC time. It has a feeling, guys, this game that one bad battle is gonna snowball big time. Let's see what's gonna happen. The mana time is still here, very, very annoying. Blasmid now sending the archers finally. At home, you have to be careful because one hole is gonna be terrible. Mr. Yo is still not walling. There's no secret on, on Arabia. We'll know about Arabia, right? So now the spear is gonna be bye bye. And Fletcher is so important. He's doing the Tone Watch, which is gonna help a lot. But he's coming. And the Archie and the Skimmers are coming too. And he has no army here. And now he's a disaster. Ooh. Well, he got to delete the Lumber Camp, probably. Disaster already, my goodness. 100 wood less, but now he needs to come with the archers. That's gonna be fletching or not? Fletching or not? He's not doing fletching, he's gonna make the tower here. Yeah, you have to protect this area with more valleys for sure. And he's still not doing the fletching because he has no goal. Two valleys on goal only. Archers are coming, the scouts are going to be there. Why he's not wanting, I have no clue. Why he's not doing a house, I have no clue. Why he's not doing the fletching because he has no goal, I said already. Don't ask a guy, come on. And here? Now he's creating chaos. That's good. But he's killing something? No, nothing. Definitely nothing. He has to be careful with those. Uh-oh. Uh-oh. Villier down. Villier down. He's gonna lose it. He's not microing fast. Definitely not. Very sloppy here. One more time. Fletching. But the good thing is Tatars. Tatars economy, man. Looks good to me. Yeah, the 50% the, the more food from the ships helps a lot now he wallet bloodlines whoa going aggro man make a house here make a damn house here the archers will help but no fletching it's a disaster why he's doing more archers when fletching will be here so good really so good he's trying to attack but he can't 15 army tato 12 army mr yo and still need the fletching in my opinion i mean his opponent has plus one plus one so obviously he need the fletching and now he's gonna wall more and here need to wall in horizontal or vertical i don't even know how he has to wall because he's gonna lose another ability oh my god now he deleted and lose another and definitely is not mr yo day in my opinion i don't say that he cannot win the game but I think he won't win the game. I think this is pretty much the 3-1. Tatot cannot throw this game anymore. He didn't wall anything. Well, Tatot wall everything. You know, and very smart walls, actually. Now he's coming with the mana times. But ladies and gentlemen, Tatot is going to be up to castleage. And seriously, Mr. Yo, if he's losing now 3-1, he is in a very bad, bad position to, to, maybe not to qualify it, but it's possible also even for qualified because his buhot or however is the pronunciation is not good. Anyway, Mr. Yo somehow managed to keep the economy, but at the limit, three villages less and more than double the army for Tatot. He's gonna wall on the left. Yes, he will. I don't know. Remember, guys, that Viper versus Hera. Viper versus Hera is the next series, okay? Viper versus Hera is the next series. And now Archie range here. One, two Archie ranges, okay. Okay. Coming with the scouts is 20 seconds. He need to wall with the two villages and fast, but the scouts are coming. He has to be careful. Remember that Tatars get thumbering. This is open. Villiers are going to be in danger. They are going to die if you don't wall. He's going to lose another two villiers. My goodness. Oh, man. Slow, this one. He's going to lose another, but the archers are coming. He's going to take it. The brunette is dead. The, 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 the macho man is dead as well. No. He didn't kill it. Okay. That's surprising. I thought he was going to, 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 to die. And this... No army to defend. And going to the south when all the scouts are there, but the tower is helping, actually. More than expected. Going back. And it's, it's, it's a chaotic game for Mr. Yo. It's really, really chaotic. It's crazy that he's still in the game, to be honest. Really crazy. 
Yeah, he's now going to move those. The efficiency for Yo, 40%. And definitely, this is looking really bad. 10 seconds away from Castle is still losing another villager. Now he's gonna lose those. This Arches is true that's gonna be with Thumbrin, and that helps a lot. Let's see Crossbows and Botkin. And Botkin. Fletching! Oh! Fletching now! Oh! I didn't notice. He still didn't do the fletching. Crossbows and Botkin, I, I was talking. Aye, aye, aye. Aye, aye, aye. Okay. Fletching now. Population, still 11 more. The camel will dominate. We'll see. He need to go with the crossbows. Thumbrin is sick, remember. And heal advantage too. So, he's gonna kill it or not? No. No upgrades. Elite skirmishers. Second tone center. And few lancers. So, Tato has a huge... What is he doing with those villages? Now he's doing the Botkin. And what is going to be the following with Tatars? He need to do more army. A lot more army. He's going to lose this one or not? Oh boy. He need to send the camels. But send the camels in front. What the hell? Send the camels, man. The camels with the crows behind, they should dominate, but no. Okay. Well, he's with the plus two. He's coming with the lancers. He's still with a chaotic situation, not even horse collar. Military numbers is still not that big difference, but okay, doing the job. And the camels will take the scout. All right. He's going with three villages, man. He cannot even wall. Score difference is poof. Poof. And how's here now? Oh, baby. Well, Tato told you need to keep the pressure. Those skirmishes are plus two, plus two. They are amazing. That Lancer. Oh, the Lancers are going to die. Okay, this is some good micro, but. The skirmishes are doing the job, and now it's three TCs. Three TCs with a much better boom going. Tato now house it. The crowbars are going to help with the hill. Yes, they will. They really will help, but... It's game over, man. This is GG. This is, this is destruction. And uh, Mr. Yo. Poor gameplay, man. Really, really poor gameplay today. He's losing absolutely everything. And here, he really can't do anything. I know that Mr. You always try hard. And he's probably gonna keep playing, but... What he can do? Ten villages behind. Half of the army. And well... Well, Tato don't use crossbows. He has his skirmishes. He's not doing crossbows. Yeah. I mean, Tato now has not a lot of farming. He's focusing more in the boom. He's doing the market. He's gonna mine his stone now. But the boom difference is gonna be just insane. Really, really insane. For sure. Yeah, well. He has Will Barrow already, Horse Collar. While no Horse Collar, no Will Barrow. With Will Barrow already activated, he has 12 villages more, that means 15. This is TC number four. TC number four already. Another Archie range he can do now. Cap Arches if you want it. With all the upgrades and Ballistic, for example, they shoot faster, they're expensive. But doesn't matter. Whatever Tato want to do now, it should work. He's doing now a scale bar in armor, and I don't know what Mr. Yo is gonna do now to make damage to Tato. Tato can have army. He can also mine a lot of stone now, monastery to convert or to take the relics. He's coming with the lancers, but this army now is good for Yo. Yo has now more army. So let's see if Tato is gonna be sloppy and maybe now give a chance to his opponent. He shouldn't, but let's see. More skirmishers. All right. And that camel down too. All right. And he's coming now. Aggressive. Or trying to go. Okay. Gonna kill the Lancer. The KD is still better for your Tatot. And four tone centers. All right. Bloodlines. Bozo, Horse Collar doing the upgrades. 69, population 86. The problem now for Tatot, not a lot of farming. Let's see if now 
He's gonna snowball a little bit for him. He has skirmishes, but he's coming with knights. He got all the skirmishes now, Tatot. Three Kavarses and skirms. Basically, that's what he has. He's housed. Now ballistic. Okay. And remember that those arches are with Thumbrain. If he got Ballistic, it could be dangerous. But without, I don't think he's gonna be in a big problem. Still, population is not that big difference according to the circumstances. But 27 villages more. Doing now town centers. Mr. Joe is gonna keep trying. We know him pretty well. But the economy advantage is just gonna grow more and more for Tatito, because he has still four town centers. So soon he's gonna have 40 villains more. Who is this? Sunny, 22 months. Let's go, man. Vamos, amigos. We are so quiet. Why we are so quiet? Because we expected the closest series, and it feel I feel the, the disappointment in the chat because we expected a, 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 a big. A, a brutal battle between Tatot and Joe, and it's not happening. Tatot is winning quite easily, right? Quite easily, honestly. Yeah. Okay, now he's coming with the Siege Workshop. I mean, Mr. Yo, at least he's reading the game properly. He knows that he has to go aggressive. That he has to do army and has to, to push. But guys, all the Krobos are dying. Skirmishes are with Ballistic even. Plus two, plus two. All the Krobos to the damn hell. Yeah, the score is hilarious, man. The score difference is just hilarious right now. Okay. We all want Viper Hera. Yes, we want Viper Hera. Now Tatot will do a castle. Where? Just make it here, man. Yeah, perfect. It's a perfect castle. Yeah, it is game over, guys. It's GG a long time ago. Mr. Yo keeps trying, but... Well, think that Mr. Yo has not dominated to anyone in the tournament. He won 3-2, 3-2, then he lost yesterday 3-2, and now he's losing 3-1. So, it seems that in the LAN events, Mr. Yo has problems, actually. GG, man. GG. Total domination. You can feel the disappointment by Mr. Yo. And, uh, well, pretty, pretty sick. You know, Tatot won super clear. Like, really, really clear, you know? And, uh, well, crazy, man. Really crazy. Expected a lot more by, by Mr. Yo. Statistics, military, 60-33. And this Arabia game, poof, it, it was a total domination. A really total domination. Total, total domination. Anyway, we are going to see. Congratulations to Tatot. And, uh, oh boy. We are going to see, guys, very soon now, the, the interview. That this should be, should be in a moment. And, uh, well, uh, crazy stuff, guys. Crazy stuff. What do you think, guys? How do you feel after this series? Before we, we have the interview here to Tatitot. Games are used too fast for you these days, you think? Mm. I don't know. I, I'm disappointed with the series. I'm very disappointed with the series, honestly. No, I will play an ad after the interview. Don't worry, guys. Next series will be Boomer. Yeah, but I'm not thinking in the next series yet. We'll go now. Maybe jet lag. I'm disappointed with you, but Tatot is good. Of course, Tatot is good. But uh, let's see. What does Tatot mean? It's come from Roberto. Yeah. Okay. Interview is going to happen in a moment. So let's see, guys. The interview is going to happen in a moment, amigos. In a moment. Yeah, I'm just checking when it's going to start. 
pretty late that whole cause Joe disease. Well, you 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 have to be able to recover to these problems, you know. Odd city Zo had a theme of not getting old army in castles in a big issue. Yeah, yeah, it was. I don't know. It was. It was weird. It was really weird, honestly. But well, we're gonna see the uh, the interview in a moment, and um, yeah, let's see what what Tata has to say, guys. There's one mission. <clears throat> oh, like. T90 is so nice to me. I will give you the middle. Middle is the worst position. It's always like the, mm, mm, or you are you are talking, no, you are talking. But I just I just thanks uh, for giving it to me. Just <laughs> you're welcome. Anyways, uh, Tato, congratulations. Thank we just you. talked you up a little bit. You heard some of our comments, but you're now three and one in the groups. Uh, how are you feeling? Obviously, you knew Yo, and how good of an opponent he is. You guys are so close in results. It's pretty much 50-50 over the last like five or six years. So yeah. again, give us your thoughts on how the series went and being 3-1 right now. Mm, Yo is always super hard, but I had doubt helping me earlier with some uh, strategies. And we, I tested them with Jordan, like the, the Malay. I actually expected uh, Mr. Yo to be person, but he won it, so. Ooh. It can uh, screw me over a little bit because I think against Persian they will have been much better. Mm -hmm. Against Kamer, Dras wasn't that effective, but uh, still, I think it worked out. I guess I was a bit lucky in that game actually because he had the hole, but I know how the economy was mm -hmm. in the, at that point. Was probably slightly ahead. Game number one, obviously, Burgundians, you gave that to him. Did you think he would use it on fortified clearing or did you expect it on graveyards? Uh, when I drafted, I expected him for 45 clearing, mm -hmm. but after all the draft and see the, uh, looking at the maps, uh, this was an option. Okay. Yeah, because he likes Burmese on 45 clearing, yeah. and uh, it was one of the options. Because he, I think Ivan is a Arabia Steve as well, so he can uh, have to adjust a little bit there. Were you surprised that he got his walls down as quickly as he did and that your investment in the scouts didn't do anything? Mm, At least in Feudal Age, that I is. I think both of our maps were fairly easy to wall, I will say. Like, usually the right graveyards is uh, a bit harder, mm -hmm. but I, I had a good map, and I guess, like, he had also, and it kind of uh, screwed a little bit my strategy there. Yeah, and the scouts didn't really find the damage, and then in Karsh he went for Lightcap. And Mamelukes, they were, they were strong at some point, right? They were strong. The issue is that he has so much production that I, keep, I will never be able to destroy... Uh, the traps, right? He will always throw me custom here non-stop. Yep. And he also has five relics, so he got a lot of um, food income. Mm -hmm. So it was really hard. I think he, he played that one quite solid. So you, you already told us Malay initially a plan with the early draw to counter the Persians who were going up for the dock. You did deny the dock. Obviously, you got in with the hole, which I think did help your situation there. But uh, did you have, did, did any of your approach change? based on like what you initially thought you were going to do with Malay, uh, what you had to do with Malay, based on the maps? Because we noticed you guys were like really close together, and a lot yeah. of the hills and resources were kind of stuck between you. Uh, I had that because obviously like he didn't have um, a spin camera. The rain was instant there, right? Yeah, yeah, so yeah. So yeah, I, yeah. I had to force, the, like drop the tower and just react to that. Otherwise, I think I will buy more time if it was another any other ship, and I will probably do something different. Okay, gotcha. Interesting. And then, well, you got to the Arbalas ball right, quite nicely, right? As you said, the hole helped you quite a bit. You had the two crossbows, uh, crossbows this game was the um, hole. groups taking him off wood. It was a hole. Must have no felt more. good to get, like, also the, the uh, castle up there the, to control the top area with all the three golds. Yeah, yeah, that castle was super important also because that allowed me to move forward with my army because I didn't have to protect my traps. Mm -hmm. And they gave me a lot of map control. So, yeah, I think after the hole and my castle this time was faster. So I was, I think I felt like under control of the game mm -hmm. after, like, in mean, castle, it already felt like I was. What really happened here? You walled off the sheep? Yes. <laughs> I was like, I cannot control the sheep. And then <laughs> <laughs> I, I, I thought it was not going to work, but it worked. I guess I was a bit lucky. <laughs> I was happy with that. Uh, so did you n expect Yo to go forward here? Because he had done that uh, set previous against Veleza. I'm not sure if you saw that. Yeah, yeah, yeah. I, I, th I felt like it was an option. And then I was uh, scouting his base, and I saw like a uh, oh, uh, forward. Oh, <laughs> beautiful. <laughs> How I lure it. No, I, I just did the same reaction again. Oh, really? <laughs> <laughs> I, I, I didn't notice. Uh, the funny part of the demo is that I did build a demo when my army was on the corner. 
Ah. Uh, I created it like, okay, I will go there if mm -hmm. he tastes, and it worked out actually. Nice. <laughs> I thought he, wa he saw the flag and he wasn't going to be close to the shoreline, but. Uh, <laughs> But like you had some level of expected that forward though. Yes, yes. You did, okay. And when I saw, as I said, like there was a house close to his woodland that he was a bit forward. Ah. Mm -hmm. uh, and I said, okay, he's coming forward for sure. Interesting, because we saw that you didn't see a barracks, and our caster brains were like, oh well, he doesn't see a barracks, he doesn't see anything out of the ordinary. But that house was the giveaway. Yeah, yeah like, I thought he was going to do like barrack at home, so I was scouting for the barrack, but I didn't find it. But then I saw the house a bit forward, so I, I expected him to go forward. Mm -hmm. but then you were didn't. off gold. Why, what made you decide that you go on stone first instead of gold first? Uh, because if he will tower me all my woodlands, I will be on trouble. So first he secure the wood, and then I will... Like, my immediate resources that my first, uh, like, source is wood, right? I need wood, then I will secure that. I need a stone for that. And then I, after I, my wood is secure, I will go for the gold. I needed the gold because I was doing a scheme in anyways. Mm -hmm. So gold was more like a long-term plan. Nice. And then Arabia, you had Mongols as an option, and you also had the other shift was... Aztecs. Aztecs. Why did you go for Mongols? Uh, I felt like the civilization he had there was... Like he had Tatars and Japanese as an option. Mm -hmm. So I felt like Mongols will be really good about against both of them. Mm -hmm. and also, like having the, um, the faster uptime will help me there. And I think, like, as I said, like in this case, with the hand, you have a lot of food. So I, my opening was super smooth, and I, th I, I felt like I was in the control the whole game. Like yep. We felt issues. the same. It was really, really well executed. And maybe we can throw back to the draft again and you can just walk us through your thought process there if you want to share obviously i know that people would like to keep that a bit safe for themselves as well because yeah. we didn't 100 percent understand why the chinese snipe happened but we loved the outcome okay what is the draft <laughs> okay there <laughs> uh, okay so basically it's knife chinese or you want to go through all of it no just explain the chinese snipe okay so I feel like Burgundian wasn't going to be a threat on fortified clearing. No threat for you? Like for Poles? Uh, I would say that it's mm, winnable. Okay. But Chinese, I think, is way stronger on Arabia. Okay. Uh, I feel like I will be in, in worse position starting the game against Chinese with the civilization I had that against Burgundians on fortified clearing. Did, did the Chinese snipe have anything to do with? The fact that Yo had like Dravidians, Japanese, two sieves that do similar things. The reason I say that is because near the end there, I looked at Yo's sieves and I was like, it felt like he had one extra, right? Like Dravidians, more of a Kawasan pick or Frigid Lake pick, Japanese the same, but he had Khmer, Dravidians, Japanese. And then yeah, that, yeah. when it came to the final two maps, I was just like, Ugh, it doesn't feel like this was part of his plan. Yeah, I agree. I think also like the fact that. He could have uh, used Burgundians on fortified clean and then Khmer on Arabia and then it's get Japanese on free. So it, like. yeah, so it's less awkward for him on some of the other maps. Yeah. Yeah, yeah, but like, so, like he had Burmese at the last pick, and I felt like he liked them, so I was okay. I will leave you Burgundians and you can choose between those two, and then I realized that Burgundians on dry graveyards is an option. <laughs> and <laughs> it worked quite well for him. <laughs> well said. That is coming up after this one will be Ooh. the Viper against Terra, who is waving right now. So <laughs> maybe someone could uh, go and help him out a bit um, from either production or Debbie could help out. Um, what is your prediction there, Hera against Viper? Hmm. Hera is playing like sick. Uh, but Viper, like, he was a bit shaky in the first series. But after that, I think he has stepped it up a little bit. Um, it's tricky. I would say last time that like, Viper and Hera faced on 9 billion star, Viper won. Mm -hmm. Warlords, right? It was, Warlords. Yeah. It was a very different map pool. Yeah, 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 yeah. way well, better for Viper. Yeah, yeah, yeah. yeah, yeah. But, but it, that's true. Yeah. Well, way better for everyone. Mm, I mean, Hera might be oh, relaxed a little bit. Did they say this? Shit. Like, almost, well, he's not compared to 1, no? No, no, he's far from it. He's 3-0. He can go 3-2. 2-2-2. Two, 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 two. Right? He, he could get like... Fourth, he wins fourth. Today, basically, he's top one. Oh, so yeah, well. No, he also can get overtaken because his Buchholz is really bad. Look, uh, at, look at that. He only has five Buchholz right now. Two. So technically, he could win today, end up with four one, but not a lot of Buchholz. But if he wins today, he will get a lot of Buchholz, right? Uh, well, it doesn't matter. Buchholz is just like he gets 
two Buchholz from Viper, yeah, yeah. no matter like if he wins. True, yeah. true. Well, I, th I would say three to Viper. That's three to Viper. Today. Okay. You will get the spicy there as well on the top. Yeah, three. just imagine Viper winning, then we have four people with 3-1 at the top. Then tomorrow is the absolute decider who is top two and advances to the bracket. Maybe we can take a look another time at the bracket and how important this is. Obviously, there will be endless amount of uh, permutations and we will scratch our heads at this night who needs to win against whom to place where. But obviously, tomorrow, the last day of the group stage, bottom two are out. So far, no one confirmed. Even ACCM can still make it, although he's 0-4. He can so have a three-way tie with Winchester and Jordan as well. And, well, lots of stuff to happen there for tomorrow. Thank you so much, Tedo, for your great intel and Thank you. for your great set. Thank you. It was really entertaining. Yeah. Tristan, any Okay, guys. Well, that has been the interview. They finished already, and uh, we're gonna finish this video for the YouTube. Hopefully, you enjoy it, guys. In the Twitch channel, it was, in my opinion, a uh, good series for Tatot. Really, really improved. Uh, could be improved for sure for Mister Yo. And uh, well, thumb up on YouTube, guys.